Man, I love the healing brush tool. It is my pleasure to introduce this tool to you. Now the healing brush tool behaves much like the clone stamp tool. It's an alt click and then a click and drag tool. Let me go ahead and read through this uh, slide. Technique similar to the clone stamp tool, alt click on the area you would like sampled, then use brush strokes over the area that needs healing. So basically like the clone stamp tool, it's an alt click, then a click and drag. Okay, nothing different up until this point. Now, the difference with this tool is that it blends the sampled pixels and the painted area to create a restoration that is subtle and realistic. Basically, it's going to blend into the background after you do uh, your alt click and then your click and drag. Let me go ahead and jump on over to Photoshop here. Wall.jpg, healing brush tool. I'll go up in the upper left, up actually bottom left hand corner. Alt click, then I'll click and drag. Now watch what happens here, okay? Now I've sampled, but the colors just don't match, okay? Because my crosshairs go over a darker part of the image. Now as I release my mouse button, normally clone stamp, it would just stay there. But with the healing brush tool, it takes the colors of the pixels around it and the pixels that were beneath the color and the texture of those pixels and watch what it does. I'll go ahead and release my mouse pointer. Take a look at that. It blends right into the background. I'll do the exact same thing to this scratch here. Okay, I'll go ahead and alt click and drag and then click and drag down here and my crosshair is going down beneath. I'll go ahead and release my mouse pointer and notice that this retouched image blends blends into the background. Okay, alt click I'll go ahead and click and drag down here and it'll blend right into the background. The healing brush tool. Magnificent. <laughs>